Feliz Navidad. Eh, 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 eh. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Tu dipos por felicidad. Eva, eh, eh. Aku adu. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. That's why I'm singing that song. If you know the real pronunciation of that song, please <laughs> comment in the section below. So I want to put on my, you know, long because they are band banga. And I can't blow banga. If you don't know banga, banga is what's the banga? <laughs> Knock out. Let me quickly on it to celebrate Christmas with you people. I'm coming. You will see it now. Oh yeah, on now. Behave yourself now. Oh no! Oh no! Yay! Feliz Navidad, Tony. Post for felicidad. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. Eh, in a long dream, do ya do ya do ya dream? Find no. Eh, eh, eh. about my childhood Christmas experience so you know I put up a post on my Instagram and I was asking people to share their childhood Christmas memories and then we were just talking and talking and it took me down memory when you know when the girls were young <laughs> I'm still a young girl, please. I'm not grandma, mom. <laughs> I mean, when we were way younger, and I really had time. I mean, I enjoyed bonding with all my dear family members on the Instagram. And reading through all the comments was so hilarious, and they really, really cracked me up. So I thought to just combine everything we talked together and the things that I shared, and shared with everybody here on YouTube as well, because I know that I have a family on YouTube as well. So I just said, I'll kill because the one that I put up on Instagram is more or less like a picture and a comment. You get me now? So I said, okay, let me express myself in a video format. How about that? <sighs> By the way, my five star, because I actually counted one, two, three. Oh, my, my five star Christmas cap was given to me by my one and only Papa Shin Shin. Yo, Laga. That's still seeing Odusoya. Thank you for the cheap Christmas gift. <laughs> actually, actually, a gift is a gift. I'm just kidding. I really appreciate it. I mean, she took her time to buy this Christmas cap for me because I told her that I actually wanted a Christmas cap. And she went all the way to a co market to buy this Christmas cap for me. Get yourself a sister. That can go to a cool market for you, come bring up sunshine. So shout out to you, babe. Thank you so much. This year has been full, as in full of plenty, plenty events. And we're so thankful that Christmas is here. And we're thankful to God that we're alive. And we're thankful for family. We're thankful for health. We're thankful for everything that we have. So let's just we just you know have fun this christmas enjoy spend time with family i don't know what you do for christmas but for me i'm so excited that i don't have anything I'm doing this christmas of course I'll, I'll be spending time with the people i love but the past few years of my life has been filled or full of so many events um and i i really don't always have time about this time every year you know what i mean because i have different activities it's just pack 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 and but i'm thankful that i have time this year so i'm so excited so if you're watching my video for the first time i'm, I'm going to try not to say so again so help me god oh i've just said <laughs> you're watching my video for the first time welcome to my channel please make sure that you subscribe before you leave this channel today don't leave without what hitting the subscribe button so thank you i've said so again let's just dive right into the um, my childhood christmas experience that i would like to to share who 
remembers uh Wadi, let me just change my style jar. Let me change it like this. <laughs> okay. Who remembers our day, our ma today? Iko kuba be ye, gidi mo mo eroko. Aju mo la tele tele, ele ready wa. Pipi 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 pipi. Onye gabe gu iya gabe gu. Obi pere ne me gu, obi pere ne me gu, obi pere gawu le pa gawu. That's that's the popular song they play at birthday parties when you want to do the round like that. What's that, what's that game called? Like if you have to start turning round around different chairs, like the last winner is going to be the. I'm sure you already know that game. That game that you will be turning around. If you don't sit down on the chair by the time the music stops, you'll be out of the game. I've forgotten what they call that game. My God, growing up was so much fun. You had no worries, nothing. You were just so innocent, and you just lived in the moment, and it was so much fun, Sha. So first things first, since it's Christmas day, I want us to talk about <laughs> Christmas chicken leg. I remember, <laughs> I remember growing up, I don't know why, like now that I'm older, I'm just wondering why in God's name was I always fighting with my brother over Christmas chicken leg. You remember people who say SCR dear, like the thing is dry, there's nothing there. I don't know why I didn't go for drumstick and every other fleshy part of chicken or of a chicken. I don't know why it's easy. The chicken leg, my brother and I were always fighting over. I remember this particular Christmas. I would stay with my mom in the kitchen. I was I was with my mom in the kitchen and I was just waiting on her to just serve our food so that I can be <laughs> my brother and I were always fighting over it. So my mom said we should share it, like one person should take one chicken leg and the other person should take the other chicken leg. My dear, I didn't agree. That's how we start to fight. We fight <laughs> <laughs> we pulled out our friends away. My mom was so angry. She said none of us was going to have the chicken leg. And then we stood down. Do you know stood down? Sherry, <laughs> did they still always give people that punishment? Oh, Okada. Do you who ride Okada among you? Oh my God, I ride Okada in my life. Oh, that punishment is terrible. Your entire legs will be shaking in your life. In your entire life. You will never try it again. Ah, that was the last time I fought with my brother over chicken legs for Christmas. Okay, so now let's talk about Christmas clothes. I sure do. Hey, hey. I remember that time growing up, eh? How many of you, how many of you disturbed your parents over Christmas clothes? It was a thing for me growing up. Like, some days to Christmas, I would have start to be telling my friends, wait, wait, this Christmas, I'm going to be hot. I mean, I'm going to be a hot shit. Do you remember? Especially like when you have your crush like around you know like some of your crush like, well i don't know about you but for me some of my crush were in boarding school so i always look forward to them coming back home for christmas so i will now want to look my best the best part of christmas for me when it comes to christmas clothes is when my father takes me to chinatown comment below if you ever um went to chinatown as a child or uh, as a child rather or even now i always look forward to my dad taking me to chinatown guess why because i picked the best ready-made dress like <laughs> the one that is to have hearts that that is to have rope that we you know elongate your face by the white robe there and i'll pick correct coco shoe white one i used to carry sauce that have flower on it so that's gone if i now want to go the england way you know if the European part of me is, I'll carry glove and then glass. I'll not knock. Oh gosh, I don't know who gave us those dress code. So I always prefer that my father takes me to Chinatown to buy ready-made dresses for me because if you give my mommy the money, my that she should buy Christmas clothes for us. Ah, that's how my mommy will now go and buy lace. Ah. That thing used to vest me on guinea. Come here below. Did you wear lace or guinea growing up? Like, I don't know what kind of annoying fabric that is. I hate that fabric with my entire life. The reason why I hate it the most is because my mom will now buy like 12 years. Because like I have five elder sisters and one, I mean four elder sisters. 
and one younger brother but should i still be counting my elder sister that is passed i don't know i keep telling people i have four elder sisters even though i've lost one of my elder sisters comment below if you think i should still count it i just can't stop counting it i don't know if it's right or wrong but anyway so i have bless her soul god bless her soul so i have um Oh, three three now i have three elder sisters so my mom will like buy like 24 yards of clothes so all of us will now wear the same clothes that thing is to face me that's the part i hate so i always beg my dad like daddy please buy ready made for all of us because if my mommy goes to the market and buy guinea or lace hey my god french or chinese let me say i don't know what they call it she will buy the same clothes they will now all go to tailor place they will now measure us one after the other then the annoying part is that my mom will tell them to make sure that they like if i'm let's say now if i'm size 10 my mom will say they should make sure the clothes is size 12 so that it will not, you will not quickly outgrow the clothes. So how can I translate this thing? <laughs> so that you can wear it like it's like she's investing. You can wait for the next one to two years. <laughs> so they will put um, what's that thing? Oh, what do they say? Like there's something that like tailors put inside the clothes. Like you can always loosen up later. Like as you grow older, or you get bigger, you loosen it up. There's allowance. I think it's allowance or something extra inside the clothes. So I hate it then on Sunday, Sunday as in Christmas Sunday, the Sunday before or following Christmas. My mom will now insist that we all wear the same clothes. I'm actually Anko. You know Anko. Everybody, when we are not coming, everybody will now know that we are brothers and sisters. That is to vex me. I did not look forward to my mom shopping Christmas clothes for us because that's exactly what she's going to do. Up until now, my mommy still like Anko. It's my mommy that I make me to wait Anko. I hate Anko. How do I say I'm cool? Like when you are twinning with somebody or wearing the same type of clothes with somebody, you know, all these kind of clothes, general clothing shop. Yeah, let the Yoruba people down. That's how English very well translates in the comment below. So that's the second childhood memory I have about Christmas. But anyway, the time when I wear my ready made, oh my god. I'm always the last person to wear my clothes, girl. Because yes, I want every other person to have worn their clothes. So that means I will not come out like you know, like French girl, I will wear only singlet, I will wait here outside like she everybody have finished wearing their clothes, I will have finished sizing up everybody, then I will not go wear my <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Come here, really, if you did the same! <laughs> now, can we talk about Christmas hair? <laughs> Christmas hair too was a thing for me growing up. As I'm sharing this thing, you need to share in the comment below which one was a thing for you. Show to you, yeah. Are you understanding it? That translation of the Yoruba I just spoke. <laughs> ah, my best style growing up was telephone wire or packing gel. They call it packing gel or telephone wire. Right now, we call it ponytail. Hey, my God! By the time they pack it up for me, you see how it will bring out my face, the beauty. <laughs> I'll be so proud. I'll have like 100 shoulder parts. <laughs> oh my God. And the annoying thing is I used to tie a scarf around my hair or wear a net or something. If I make my hair many days before Christmas, <laughs> like when my mom insisted I make my hair many days before Christmas, I'll just tie my hair or pack it or something so that nobody sees my hair until Christmas Day. Even <laughs> Even on Christmas Day, I don't open my hair immediately until every other child in the compound has opened their hair. Then I'll be the last girl standing, you know, walk up like a queen, like, oh, oh look at my hair. <laughs> so that's what I normally do. Then there was this, ah, there was this Christmas that they took me to one other salon. Ah, my God, this salon woman. Can we believe if you remember those days when you want to do shuku or koloba? Salon woman will now put you in between their legs, the hairdresser. They will put you in between their legs and put your head inside their. Oh my God, this people wear something else. <laughs> anyway, so I went to this particular salon, and for whatever reason, the woman said that she wants the hair to last. She now tied my entire brain. Ah, God, she was so tight. I was literally crying and you know like when they make tight hair for you as a child and you can't like you can't have any expression on your face because if you try it's crying you are going to be if you have pain honestly so you just like keep a straight face like you can't laugh you can't smile you can't talk and you can't turn your head you are literally like turning your entire body to respond whenever they're calling your name so my mom was like what's wrong because <laughs> i said that yeah it's pretty big 
Till the day the midnight my entire ears were red. My eyes, my head was hot. That's how my mom just <laughs> she took <laughs> my mom just grabbed one blade closest to her and listen to her. She ruined my Christmas because I couldn't go out, because I could not do shakara. I was just crying. <laughs> it was so traumatic for me. About you know choreography, let's talk about cultural dance and Father Christmas visitation from school or from church. <laughs> My dear, when I was a child, you know that there's a difference between Father Christmas and Santa. I think in my own time, the thing that I experienced is Father Christmas. You know, you when you see a picture of Father Christmas on your test with the out in the you know, <laughs> ah, they took me to NTV. I'm not calling out or say anything bad about it TV. I'm just sharing my Christmas childhood experience. They don't always give Bessie any other gifts but cooler. I don't understand why. And that telephone juice. After we pay like 6,000 naira to go and see Father Christmas, they will now put only cooler inside like every year. It's the same thing. See, my mom vexed for you. I say, I'm not more going for Father Christmas again. <laughs> because. <laughs> Because first thing I will cry, like how the Father Christmas, I don't understand. The Father Christmas is not Santa, Lara, as in he's not anywhere close. Santa is like, yeah, the posh one. Father Christmas. <laughs> he used to give you nightmares. Like the moment you enter the room, you just start crying. I don't know about you, but me, I just start crying. Like he looks so scary with the glasses, a black man, red. Oh, looks like Satan in Hollywood film. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So all my pictures with Santa growing up, I was always crying. Like always crying. That's the first thing. So comment below if you went to see for that Christmas growing up and what gifts did they give you? Did you collect cooler? <laughs> then the second thing, oh biscuits. Oh jeez, my god, those people are scam. They are scammers or what's the right word? I don't know. So I don't think I remember it's choreography or cultural dance in primary school. First thing, if I'm doing choreography, just know that I will miss my step. I am always missing my step. <laughs> and that thing makes my mom question me that every other child gets it. Do they have two ways? Why can't you get it right? So when other people's parents are going out to spray money, my mom will just be like, what kind of child is this? <laughs> but the one I used to get the most is cultural dance. Hey, our day, our mass day. That's not how to sing it, but that's why I used to say it. If you know the right word, please put it in the comment below. The part I like the most is when you are doing ping, 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 ping. That part, when we get to that part, my eye showcase is always falling off my chest. I don't know. So you'll be struggling. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> ah, this is very blessing on you. That one. I'm good at cultural dance. They used to spray play some money. I used to make money. <laughs> Come on, you should do cultural dance growing up. The next thing I want to talk about is piggy bank that is popularly known as Kolo. You know, there are different types of piggy bank. There is a piggy bank made with clay. There is a piggy bank made with taco. My God! Guys, any Christmas money that I save, me, I'm saving ahead for Christmas. I don't often see Jack in the piggy bank by the time I open it. I remember one year I was saving and I was so happy. Okay, so it was my mom stealing from me. But for my mother, I will be a zillionaire in dollars by now. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, though, all the money I saved in my piggy bank, it is called piggy bank, but in my colo, my God. I don't ever, ever find any, anything in the colo, nothing. That I mean, the experience was so bad. My mom, when I start asking my mom, she say she borrowed from me. She will, she never returned the money. Also, when uncles or aunties give give us rather like, Christmas money, as in my mom will now start giving me the story of my life, the food I eat, the school she's telling me, the tea she do from. You might have like so if they don't give me money, you will not do it. I'm not that like that's your civic responsibility as a responsible parent. That's how my mom will use manipulation to collect my money. And she will never give. I don't dare not ask her for the money. So comment below <laughs> if you had the same experience. But now I have my piggy bank, a fancy one, from my cousin. And it has my name on it. 
but I am scared of who play this piggy bank in a way because the trauma from childhood is still following me. See, it's only maybe two notes of money that is inside because somewhere in my subconscious it feels like somebody is still going to come and steal from me. But this one, nobody can actually steal from you. Um, if you want to buy it, you can buy it because the hole is very tiny. So for them to steal from you, they have to break it. And for them to break it, you definitely catch them in the act, okay? So if you want to purchase it, purchase yours. God, please, is this coming here? Help me to save this side color. Help me to forget the pain and the trauma of the past. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. <laughs> okay, guys, let me know in the comment below what your favorite childhood memories, what your favorite childhood Christmas memories are. I'd like to know all of it. Please have an amazing Christmas. Enjoy your Christmas. Eat all the chicken and spread the love. Make, you know, like Christmas is about christ and please let me just say this i don't know why a lot of people like to say merry xmas i don't know i know like some people will be like oh christians their own is too much they like to read meanings to things but if what they're saying about it is true or not i would just rather you say christmas than xmas really so just try to say christmas like just say christmas okay so merry christmas once again people have an amazing christmas i love you and until next time oh no one more thing i did not do this thank you for subscribing to my channel for those of you that have subscribed to my channel if you're just passing by and you enjoyed what you've just seen today please subscribe to my channel please give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below also please turn on your notification bell i love you guys so much i've said that like twice or three times already but i really do thank you so much enjoy your christmas until next time be well <laughs>